Hey everybody! So we're gonna revisit Rough Leaf Dogwood and Silky Dogwood for a moment because Steve and I noticed something just about oh six days or so ago and it's pretty fascinating. So as you all know this was all mowed lawn when we got here and a lot of this is regenerating on its own. We didn't plant any of these dogwoods and in front of me we have Rough Leaf Dogwood and I want you to notice a couple things here. So here's the fruits. Silky has blue and Silky also looks a lot like red osier and has uh, red stems to the base but they're striated with uh, white. And so again we're looking at rough leaf and these pretty cool berries which my phone says hey I don't want to focus on you. But okay so there's just a couple fruits here. This is what I'm noticing and what Steve noticed. But here we have all of the fruiting structures still on this plant. And that's not unusual, but what's remarkable is that almost all of the fruits are gone. I mean, we have some really good copses of these dogwoods here. And we definitely noticed, it was like November 5th, that these fruits are gone. They are stripped. Now, and maybe you saw, that's a cardinal. And so cardinals are still in here. They're searching along the ground. White-throated sparrows have been in here. We've seen them gulping down these berries. But look, here we go. See, that was a white-throated sparrow. And there's some juncos in here. Overall though, look at this, you guys. I mean, the fruits. See all those fruiting structures? They're empty. <gasps> this is obviously a super highly sought after food, these dogwoods. And so we've planted some flowering dogwood out here, but they're not fruiting yet. And so these old field and edge species of silky and rough leafed dogwood are incredible. We are so impressed. Look at that beautiful lake sedge wow and there's a few berries left on this one and one of the points that we were also just marveling at as we we're noticing how all of these fruits are gone is that on the invasive non-native bush honeysuckle that we have here they're still on so this here is a uh, silky but the, so the bush honeysuckle berries are still on the plants. And I know in some city areas where there's nothing else but bush honeysuckle, those have already been eaten. Now, a lot of fruits need frosts or certain times of year they become a lot more palatable. And obviously here, this is our big zone we showed you the other day where we're working on the bush honeysuckle. But you can see back here, even on ones that Steve's cut that are fruited, they're plentiful. The berries are still plentiful. But on the dogwood copses, gone. So we're gonna go through one more copse before I wrap up this video. And so I've highlighted before the importance of these dogwoods and how cool they are and the birds that will nest in them and that different butterflies and skippers will utilize them as host plants and they're awesome nectar sources. And I knew of course that they're great berry sources, but I didn't realize how great of a berry source. So we're coming around. Oh look, let me back up. This is staghorn sumac we planted. We had a deer walk through here and rub. Sweet. We still never really see deer much here. And so any signs of them are very exciting. I know some of you struggle with them with your plantings. We just don't have that. Which I think is primarily due to hunting. So here we go. Another patch. Okay. So I know the lighting is real difficult, but up at the top, the fruiting structure's almost empty. 
maybe 0.01% of the berries left. And you can see these guys spread by runners, suckers. And so that's how we're getting some of these awesome patches. These guys were done a long time ago. This is silky, completely empty. So these berries I know, or these fruits, they fueled a bunch of migrant south. We had catbirds in here constantly. And now they're being savored, whatever's left, by the white-throated sparrows, like I mentioned, and the cardinals, and anybody else. Oh, and just one more thing. They serve as really great cover. And so, I think it was about a week ago, I passed through on the other side of this dogwood copse, and I heard this little twittering call, and a bird went flying. And I, my brain was saying, you know that call, you know that call, girl. And I came around the corner, and I kicked the bird up again, and it was a woodcock probing in the soft earth on his way or her way south. And so he or she sought shelter underneath these dogwoods who like water. And so for so they were telling me, oh, it's soft earth, and that was perfect for that woodcock. So dogwoods, folks, they are cool. We hope you have some. Seek them out. They are worth it. Bye!